Panthers. Okay, so what we're going to be doing, and I know we're pretty used to doing these like surprise big mouth drawings, but we're going to be drawing a fabulous jack-o'-lantern. And then when we open up the mouth, you can put whatever you want inside. I put, obviously, some Halloween candy. You could have your jack-o'-lantern eating a burrito, sushi, donuts, whatever you want. All right, so let me walk you through some of the basics, and then you guys can add your collar and all the special surprises inside. Okay, let me turn my camera around so you guys can see the paper. And first thing we want to do is fold it properly. All right, so when we go to fold our paper, we want to fold it in half like this. Make sure the edges line up. And then what you want to do next is take a look. You want to make sure this part goes up here. Okay, beautiful. That way, when you go to open it up, you can put this hilarious jack-o'-lantern inside. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we need to add the face to our jack-o'-lantern. All right, so up here, you guys can change the eyes all you want. I'm just going to keep it simple, do some triangles. Connect them at the bottom. Beautiful. You guys can do jack-o'-lantern nose, any kind of nose you want to do. I'm just going to do a slightly smaller triangle like so, or you could do it upside down if you want to. Next, I'm going to do zigzags for my jack-o'-lantern's mouth. Okay, beautiful. And down here, we're going to need to make sure we do the top of our pumpkin and the bottom of our pumpkin. All right, so from here, we're going to connect it. Pumpkins are kind of lumpy. And I'm looking at this and I'm like, oh no, I might not have enough room for a stem. <laughs> so I'll do a sideways stem. There we go. Kind of squeak it in there. That works. <laughs> okay, so next we want to connect. Oh, down here, sorry. We want to do zigzags down here to the bottom part. Let's open it up and try to connect everything. So I want to connect my pumpkin. I'm going to give it a little wart because that's hilarious. <laughs> Do the same up here. Why not? Pumpkins aren't always particularly smooth. And next I want to connect the mouth. So from this, I'm going to come all the way down and connect down here. Ooh, looking good. All right, so we want to make it look like it's a little bit more three-dimensional. Because when you carve a pumpkin, you can see the inside part of your pumpkin, too. So over here, I'm going to come down. I'm going to stop. We're going to do this on both sides. Come down. Make sure we stop. Okay, so this is where we're going to make it a little bit more 3D. We're going to match the zigzag here. Match it. And connect the bottoms of the teeth together. So point to point, do a straight line. Ooh, that's looking good. We're gonna try to do something similar up here, but not exactly like the bottom. It's like we're looking down and we can see the bottom part of the teeth. So at each edge, we're gonna add a little extra rim like that. The middle tooth, I'm gonna leave that alone because we see it straight on. And then on this side, we're going to add the same kind of shadow. Oh, that's looking really good so far. We're going to try to do the same thing in our eyes, too. So on this side, 
come almost to the bottom and then cut over. Pew. Do it over here too. Come down almost to the bottom, cut over. Do the same on the nose. All right. Oh, this is looking really good, guys. Okay, so next we're going to try to draw whatever you guys want to draw inside. So you can draw bats if you want to. Whatever makes you happy. All right, you guys can make it creepy. You can draw candy. When I go to draw candy, I like to do start out with maybe like a Tootsie Roll kind of thing. And I would just start with a basic shape and put the wrapper out like this and give it a little wave. Or you guys can draw a lollipop. You guys can draw another donut. We learned how to do those this week. Here's our donut. You guys can draw lollipops. You can draw your favorite candies. You can draw, I'm going to draw a circular candy because it looks like it's been twisted. You can draw a little gumdrop. And you guys, of course, can put those hilarious cartoony eyes on them if you want to. I think we've gotten pretty good at this. Let me give this guy a little mustache. <laughs> okay, so this is when you guys can go ahead and color it any way you want to color. I'm going to recommend when you go to color yours, because we want it to look like it's glowing, like a jack-o'-lantern. I did yellow on the inside. I did a lighter orange on the inner rim where the shadow is. And my pumpkin, I did brown and orange together. So you guys can make it look any way you'd like to. Share with me on Seesaw your fabulous drawings. I look forward to seeing them.